Hello everyone, Russell again from Fun Jam 27. I wanted to uh, take a minute to uh, demo how uh, um, one of my workflows. Uh, I've recently started uh, uh, adopting this this method. It seems uh, a, maybe a, a bit easier for for some to to understand, uh, I think, than uh, and uh, get things. Uh, 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 composed uh, quicker than than some of the more traditional ways that I've I've used in the past so anyway um, what I'm doing is I'm going to uh, open up a, a, a template which is just a initialization file and what it's done is it's set uh, as you can tell all the instruments are all set to pizzicato I just chose that because of the uh, uh, fast attack and and and, and uh, decay there um, and right now there is no content in any of the eight tracks. Um, I, uh, that's all part of the initialization. I'm going to draw in the notes uh, per track. <clears throat> and uh, uh, the, the key here, though, is setting up the progression beforehand. So I, I went ahead and set up a, um, a C scale uh, or key of C, and, and I'm doing a, a 1, 6, 4, 5 progression here. Um, one measure of uh, C major, one measure of A minor, uh, half measure of F major 7, and a half measure of uh, uh, G7. Um, and then it'll cycle through. And since I set a progression up, I've set every one of the tracks up to a single measure. Um, <clears throat> so you'll, um, it, it'll be very obvious as it loops through this progression. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Nothing's uh, entered in right now, but I'll start entering in one by one, and it'll start to make a little more sense here. And I'm just going to uh, enter in on every uh, every uh, beat of the measure, uh, four four time, 90 beats per minute here. Um, so that's just a, a basic uh, uh, function there. Um, one thing that a lot of people may not be aware of is if you go into any track and click on the MIDI button right here, you could harmonize. So you're going uh, to get one part harmony or two part harmony along with the root, and that's all based out of the key that you're in. So um, as this changes through the progression, you should even hear uh, the, the changes that uh, uh, the, the harmonization uh, that, that uh, goes through with the progression as well. So um, now I'm just going to go over here and I didn't flatten this out but that's okay I was playing with this earlier but uh, here I've entered in notes across every step of the measure also touch and hold these notes as you enter them and uh, take them to a different pitch as well so that's that's interesting to, to play around with um, so let's see here I did something tracks. Um, you could also go in there and start changing your rest and your ties and your uh, uh, dynamics panning. Uh, I'm in grid mode so you can't change the dynamic wave uh, or the beat uh, wave here, uh, but that's okay. I, uh, I'm more comfortable in the grid mode. So um, You do get some interesting things in the non-grid mode, but I, I just prefer working in, in grid mode typically. Okay, um, so to go back here, uh, th this may be of interest, you'll see that it's got a uh, sawtooth wave going up, but it dips out uh, on every beat uh, practically throughout the measure. What I did was I have a, uh, on the uh, 
double multiplier of the wave, I changed that to a square wave. So, and in fact, I could even exaggerate that to, to demonstrate how that's interacting. All the rest are a sawtooth, so I could convert to just a square wave. That uh, kind of illustrates the dynamics between the different uh, wave sliders. Uh, now each one of these are a multiple of the uh, primary wave. Uh, in this case, the primary wave is set to uh, the cycles per measure of one cycle. Uh, so now the topmost slider is a half of a cycle per measure. Then this is the one times multiplier. Uh, so this would be two cycles per measure, three, four, five, six. Uh, you can actually go into any one of these and change it to whatever uh, frequency you want it to be. And that's where I also set up this one slider being independent of the rest and being a square wave as opposed to being a sawtooth wave as the rest are. And you can get it to where it adds or subtracts into that, uh, into that overall wave integration, how it's modifying the, the, the overall wave. Um, and you could also set the specific uh, uh, level uh, with your plus and minus over here as well. So um, for right now though, I'm going to just leave it as is. Um, let's see, also I wanted to point out here that your output is set to both MIDI and audio. Uh, you've got a global setting to set that up, but you could also do that on a per track basis right here. Uh, so if I go to MIDI, you'll hear that one track gets muted out. Uh, both, all you're hearing is the audio engine because I don't have a, a MIDI source being driven by this in the background. Also, you have the, the ability to set your MIDI channels by default. Uh, it, it, well, there, there's two options by default, and I'll go into those in a second set on a per track basis the MIDI channel. Now this MIDI note is also interesting because if you're playing percussion and you know what the drum mapping is, for instance, uh, the MIDI note mapping for a drum kit, you could set that to a particular snare or hi-hat or ride or, you know, any of the individual drum uh, pieces within the kit so that that track is only uh, triggering that one drum sound. You also have the pan wave right here. This can also be modified to uh, uh, different uh, uh, CCs. Um, they would all be controlled by the uh, by the pan uh, function within the wave. So they're all going to be controlled by that. But you could have it either control and pan, or as you saw, modulation or expression or various other CC. Uh, 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 functions as well. Uh, okay, so I'm going to just kind of fast track this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this and take it over to uh, where I started with this before and what became of it. Um, and if you send this out to MIDI, like I said, on the global screen right here, you can send it to MIDI and it'll go you can choose either tracks 1 through 8, which corresponds to your track buttons up here, being 1 through 8, left to right, or you can lump them all into one specific track, which is great for drums, and you can put them all in track 10, for instance. Uh, also, you've got the ability to turn MIDI sync off, or, or send MIDI sync, or receive MIDI sync as well. Here's also where you control your time signature and your swing. The swing doesn't uh, uh, it isn't in effect when you're in grid mode, but uh, in non-grid mode you'll, you'll hear the swing take effect. Um, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, 